Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Again! I'm Burning Dog Face. And the good news is, we found the helicopter! The bad news is, it's completely surrounded by goods and services, and I very strongly suspect that uh, a whole pile of dudes are going to show up trying to kill us very soon. Before we do that, I wanted to give a shout out to Torix00, who said, The more this playlist goes on, the more I wonder just how many flashlights Alan has handled to be able to hold the beam steady while reloading or activating a flashbang. Alice must need a flashlight with a steady hand any time she's out after sunset. It seems like something you get pretty good at, you know, for the sake of someone else. Uh, yes. I'm gonna see if I can go into the fire department and loot it for goods and services first. Oh boy. They're really arming me for bear, which in this particular case is ominous. I didn't think so. Now that I noticed that that door is barely painted on. Well, usually I say it that way if like the handle is a uh, part of the texture, but you know. Oh. Oh, hey, it's the Oh Dear Diner right there. I do like the way you can get a general a sense of your location in the town. I mean, hell, I bet if I had a better sense of geography, personally, uh... <laughs> you, know, you could ma map the whole thing out in your head. I suppose there is an official map, so, you know, that probably helps. Back the fuck up, huh? How's that sound? How would all of you go to hell? everything Oh It's forming the dark nado
me a weaver, Sheriff. You're taking a big chance on a local crazy lady, Al. I hope you're right about her, or we can kiss this town goodbye. Honestly, we're just lucky it didn't take the, uh, the helicopter. I hope you know how to deal with this, Wake. I guess you New Yorkers are used to rough situations like this. Right. The city's a war zone. King Kong, mutant alligators. Then Alex Casey shoots the place up every weekend. Look, I never even carried a gun until a couple of days ago. Well, my dad used to be a cop there. Tell some pretty wild stories. Stuff like this? No, no. Just normal bad stuff. Kind of like your books, Wake. I used to tease dad that he was just like Alex Casey. You've read me. Oh, sure. You're a pretty good writer. A little heavy on the metaphors, maybe. <laughs> Nobody's ever said that before. We're coming up on the power plant. See the lit building over there? And that's the dam further up the river. I can't land here. I'll take her down the road across the river. Just get me there, Sheriff. Of course. Uh. Oh, hey, that's bad. bad for my health. No! Wait, this isn't the flashlight I had! And all my guns are gone! Did I just grab this flashlight from somewhere else on the way out of the, fl uh, the helicopter? Oh man, all that crap I just had? Oh, there was a thing there I really wanted to address. Uh, I think I have that comment readied up. Ah, yes, here it is. Uh, well, Ulthar left a comment saying, well, at least Nightingale isn't rogue enough to kill you when he found you. At this point, I don't think Nightingale is an actual agent. But, uh, the reason I'm bringing it up is because, uh, minor note. Frank Breaker is mentioned in Control, specifically the Bright Falls AWE document, where he is described as an ex-agent of the Federal Bureau of Control. So there's one connection we have between the two games. So yeah, her father wasn't a cop in New York. <laughs> he was, uh... a specialist G-man, let's say. And I would fucking bet anyone assigned to the oldest house has some interesting stories. I just feel like your father was maybe being a bit heavier on the metaphor than Alan. <laughs> Oh no, it was a gunman. Totally wasn't an inside out, uh. Oh. The darkness wears her face. Why is it the fuck is it doing that? Oh, by the way, I had a thought about that, uh, chapter that ended with no music. A few years ago. something about the chain for the door to open. A few years ago, uh. They took Alan Wake, the original, off of Steam. And uh, my understanding was it was because the, uh, the licensing agreements for some of the music had expired. And uh, Microsoft wasn't willing to invest the resources to, you know, just go in and remove the games. So they were just going to make it simpler and just stop selling them so they're no longer, you know, so they wouldn't be violating the, uh, the licensing agreement. And, uh, I was thinking to myself... I don't actually have a revolver, but that's nice. Oh. Nice. Yes, good. So I was thinking maybe that bit with the, uh, the chapter ending and then no music was because there was, uh... Wait, aren't you supposed to keep milk refrigerated? 
Let's not wonder about that. Maybe they're empty and the guy collects the cartons. Yeah, that's it. But yeah, maybe that had no music in it simply because that licensing agreement expired. They couldn't, you know, satisfactorily renew it in time or find a replacement, so they just said, fuck it, we'll make that bit silent. I was thinking about that because it reminded me of when I was playing Quantum Break, and, you know, I had that uh, toggle to not play copyrighted music. Which, incidentally, didn't work because they still had copyrighted music playing during the semi-pre-rendered... Uh, well, they were live-action, but they had, like, choices in them. The live-action uh, episodes from that game. Like, they really leaned into the TV thing even harder than Alan Wake does. Every few levels, there's a, a live-action video. Oh, boy! Ow! Ow! My organs! I needed those! She it. Fuck. Oh my god, they really are just dropping out behind me. They have killed your friend and I'm not sorry. Ah oh, fuck, don't dodge backwards against those guys, you fool. Oh yeah, that would do it, yeah. Sledgehammer to the back of the head. What? Oh. I thought the highlight was in a different spot. Oh! If I'm standing right under that van when I do that, will the guy, like, drop onto my shoulders and I'm giving him a piggyback ride? Oh! My god, I don't even have any flares! Yeah, that was a shitty one. Okay, this is not great. No, it's a dock work. Ah! You fuck off. And you fuck off. You also fuck off. Oh, right. Uh-oh. No! How many of these fucking things do they have? I thought they did that, like, occasionally. Okay, you're fucking dead. I don't know if you got the memo. shadow that makes that really creepy, I gotta say. I think I was saying something as they jumped me, but fuck, man. What's funny is I think there is that the reason I uh, remembered that is because I remember I just picked a, uh, a random, like, chapter checkpoint to load. And, uh, yeah, at the time that they took Alan Wake off, the, uh, off of Steam, I made, like, a note at the beginning of a video of whatever series I was doing at the time to, uh, to, uh, to mention this. You know, if you guys like Alan Wake and if you ever thought about wanting to play Alan Wake yourself, now is the time. You know, like that. So, uh... Yeah, because they put it on sale for, like, a dollar for the last couple weeks of its time on Steam. Uh, and, uh, I remember loading just a bit, 
And I think it was this bit right here, because I I, th I think I remember starting to say, uh, you know, the, my my spiel about how they're taking it out the store, and then Alan was like, uh, you know, I need to do something about the chain. I'm like, ah, not this time, buddy. The darkness controls the Taken. The darkness wears her face. Oh, let me just soak up that light for a moment. Oh, that's weird. That's better. That's just the noise it makes when you close that, that menu? Really? There's a shotgun ammo over there, so that's good. a second time. I don't know why. But can I just... No, I cannot. I do like the way the light seems to swell whenever Alan walks into it. I'm not sure if that's a perception thing or, you know, magic. I thought I had... heard all of the radio plays. Is it? Is that what that is? Am I getting like 0.2% oh, of people have gotten this achievement because the achievements are bugged? Did I get that one by mistake? And here's a new song from a band that, that they always remind oh, fuck. us of living rock legends. I guess it's just anything. 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 I love this song. joke is that they're playing war and uh, I'm getting swarmed by uh, endless dudes. <laughs> Fuck! Alright, maybe I'll play this one for you guys, too. <laughs> you know, while I'm not being murdered by the Taken. Alright, what do I got? Tons of ammo and three flares. Why does he just walk in? Oh, fuck! How dare you try to shovel me! No! I could do that. I'll kill you. sucked. 
But since it seems I can, uh, kill all those guys before I, uh, trigger the radio, I'm gonna try to do that next time, and, uh, let us all enjoy the song together. Even Alan. Along with, uh, that lovely rattling. <laughs> oh, boy. I should have known. Only way to get from one side to the other was a mountain of skids. <laughs> Always gonna be trouble. Well. I'm Burning Dogface. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake. When we go back over there, kick some serious ass. And, uh... Go and catch up with Barry... Sarah. Till then, stay in the light. <laughs>